High waves, strong winds and spring tides created a nightmare for coastal communities in the western and eastern Cape on Saturday and Sunday. Two people were killed, a famous rock formation was destroyed, hikers had to be evacuated from the Otter Trail and extensive damage was caused to property, including several famous waterfront restaurants and infrastructure along the shoreline. In Wilderness, Western Cape, a 93-year-old woman died after her leg was swept away while she was watching the waves from the parking lot. The Koga municipality also confirmed that the body of an unidentified man, believed to be 68 years old, was found in Aston Bay near Jeffreys Bay in the Eastern Cape. Philo Oliphant, spokesperson for the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, COCTA, in the Eastern Cape, said there had been no reports of people being swept away by ocean currents, so they were currently unsure where the bodies came from. You can see in several videos circulating on social media the moment big waves wash over the coastal area in Wa Western and Eastern. On Friday, the South African Weather Service issued a warning for damaging winds that will continue into the weekend. According to the Eastern Cape Local Government Department, a warning was issued for strong winds of 60 to 70 km per hour and significant high waves of between 5 to 7 meters. Garth Sampson, from the South African Weather Service, said wind gusts reached a top speed of 95 km per hour in Gikuebaha, Eastern Cape. Thank you.